Hello everybody, we are going to be talking about Cole Caulfield being sent down to the AHL as well as Adam Fox's big extension in this video. Now before we start, please make sure to give the video a thumbs up and join the Hockey Brigade by subscribing. Now, let's talk about Cole Caulfield. So, Cole is a guy that a lot of people were expecting to thrive this year after having a big playoff run with 12 points in 20 games on the way to the Stanley Cup Finals for the Montreal Canadiens. In fact, a lot of people, including myself, thought he had a pretty good chance at winning the Calder this year. It's been a different story, though, than we expected for him and possibly even Montreal if you expected them to be good, as he has one point in 10 games for the Habs, who are currently 2-8 and eight on the year. And as you could imagine, if a team's 2-8 and eight through 10 games, they're in the last place of the Atlantic Division. And for me, just looking at this, I think it's a mistake on Montreal's part to send him down. And I know people will say, oh, he's only got one point in 10 games and he doesn't have a shot on goal, or he doesn't have a goal in 22 shots. But just hear me out a little bit. He's definitely not the whole problem in Montreal. I think we all know that he is not the sole problem. And without him, I think the team could struggle even more offensively because he is at least generating chances. In fact, at 5 on 5 play, he's got the fourth highest rate of scoring chances, 4 per 60 on the entire team. And while he has been outscored at 5 on 5, 4 to 1, his go expected goals for is actually a positive as he has an expected goals for of. 3.75 and an expected goals against of 3.6 basically meaning that theoretically if everything worked out how it should have they'd be outscoring teams when he's out on the ice for full strength play it hasn't though and it's just one of those things looked hasn't worked out for him so far and i think it would have just been safe to assume based off the shots he's getting especially five on five he probably would have broke out of this at some point this year also, for me, it just really doesn't make a lot of sense. You're going to be getting Carey Price back potentially as soon as this weekend. And for a team that's 2-8 and eight looking to compete, whatever they want to say in Montreal, wouldn't you want everybody to be all hands on deck to get through the thick of it, try to get back into the playoff race? I don't know, it just seems weird. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe this AHL stint will help him regain his form, and I guess time will tell. And it seems like Montreal said that they think he's being too stiff. He's just not got that form that they'd like to see him for. But that being said, we will move over to New York, and I want to talk about a certain Norris winning defenseman. That is the 23-year-old Adam Fox of the New York Rangers. Now, Fox, of course, is the reigning Norris winner, and yesterday he signed the biggest contract ever for a defenseman coming out of their entry-level deal. This is a seven-year, $66.5 million deal or extension with the Rangers for an AAV of $9.5 million dollars. That's a lot of money. I get it. That's almost $10 million per season. That is something you would expect for an older player, but he looks really good, especially for so young, and he has proven to be a great two-way defenseman, and it makes sense. And here's why. He is a pain to get quality shots down Logan's, especially at full strength. Offensively, you know what you're going to get out of him. He's able to get really good looks, and I would imagine the Rangers actually end up benefiting from this deal along the line down the way, after all, because a player typically gets better as they get to their prime years, their later 20s, very early 30s, and he's 23. You look at this and say, based off what he's done and what we've seen, things should only go up from here as he you know, progresses and he's going to have to probably play an even bigger role which is crazy to imagine for the Rangers as they look to not only be a talented team but be a team that wants to win a Stanley Cup because they have a lot of talent and with him playing over 24 minutes a night on average I'd say they have a pretty good chance with him out on the ice. Also fun fact he is eighth in the league for defensemen that have played at least 250 minutes for points per 60 since his debut, basically meaning he's got a lot of points per 60 whenever he's out on the ice. What do you think of his deal? Let me know down below. Also, let me know what you think of Montreal. What should they do or should not do with Cole Caulfield? Also, down below, excuse me, I had a hiccup. Anyway, if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to join the Hockey Brigade. Everybody stay safe. Have a great night. You go love hockey, all right? Goodbye, Brigadiers and Brigadettes. This is your captain signing off. Have a great night.